Hey there, Leo, and welcome to your full moon in Virgo Tarot and Oracle reading. This is a deep dive. These readings have been deep and I'm into it. I'm also in a new spot in my home. I hope you like it. I really enjoyed being here. It's a little tight, but um, I like it a lot better. I hope you do too. Or if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm Infinity. I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, distance energy healer, ascension coach. I work with animals and people and um, offer a lot of services with Tarot and Oracle, just divine guidance across the board. But I have an Evolve Now program that's really for deep healing, connecting with Gaia, connecting with archangels connecting with your soul your body ridding you of pain chronic illness it's really really amazing very quick and um how that works so i invite you to take a look at my website i also have a new uh offering called renew now which is a way shrunken down version from that but really really intense healing and there's two versions renew now and renew now deluxe and um, I'm really happy and excited to have been guided to set that all up. Really awesome components in those healings and all of those healings. Um, so anyway, I also have eBooks and I'm an astral meditation guide. Um, I do a lot of activations over different periods of time, stargates, eclipses, um, full moons, new moons, and anytime I'm guided, this is something I'm really going to be ramping up here. Um, going into March, I'm going to be putting out a lot of meditation. So I hope you stick around, partake in the meditations, even if sometimes they're long. There's a reason for that. And um, it is self healing. And it's just really awesome. Um, what comes through. Uh, and I, because I channel my meditations, they're not, I don't design them. I just get the inspiration to sit down and to put myself in that space and uh, see what flows. So lately it's been healing abundance and money wounds and connecting back with the inner child and integrating the inner child and um, releasing fears and um, all that sort of, that, that kind of stuff, just really working on ourselves and um, clearing out energies. And of course, cord cutting, the importance of cord cutting is one of my eBooks and I have a really amazing, intense uh, meditation that I was guided to facilitate, actually a couple of them, but there's a new one for uh, 2021. So please check all that out on my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. All right, Leo, without further ado, let's get into it here. Like I said, I have a feeling that you're going to have a, a pretty intense reading here. They've all been pretty intense with this full moon energy. Um, so what we're doing is, is these have turned, like I said, these have, have been deep. It's called the deep dive because these have been right around an hour or even longer than an hour long. Um, it doesn't feel like that to me. Um, hopefully it won't feel like that to you. If you if you're short on time, if you like really quick to the point reads, um, you know, watch as, as much as you want of it or go and come back. Um, I invite you to stay for the whole thing. All of it's going to be meaningful and tie together. Um, I connect with the uh, with the energies of each sign and those angelics that are uh, broadcasting out to me for their people who they will be guiding to watch this. So the chances of it resonating with you is pretty good. Um, in one way or another, I do work with the angelics, archangels, dragons, the fae, Gaia very closely, and other ascended masters. Um, I am an earth angel. It's how I identify. And um, and so with that said, I, I to do what I do, I work with um uh, the divine beings of the, of the people, the individuals that I, that I work with and I connect with, with their guides, with the angelic realms is really what's right here. 
Um, so that's where most of this is coming from. Also, your own soul, tap into whatever, whatever may come. I'll be feeling different, different energies as we go. But what we are doing here is um, with every single sign, we have had, um, we've been using different cards or different decks. So I have eight, um, eight Oracle decks and five tarot decks. And I just tap in and I'm told what to use. The one that we've been using for each and every single one of these breeds is my Moonology deck. It's pretty new to me actually, but because this is a full moon read, we'll definitely be using that one. And I got this great little shell that sits right there in the center. It's like, it's seriously perfect. Look at that. <laughs> um, okay. So let's just take a second here. We just got that out of the way. Leo, tapping in with you again. Thank you so much for being here, for being guided to my channel uh, and this video. Please look around and partake of everything else that I've got going on here. Like I said, the meditations and past uh, and, and past readings and those past meditations that were for specific portals or stargates and things like that can be done at any time. So if you're like, wow, that sounds really, really cool. Just go and do it. Um, time is not linear. It's, it's woven like electricity. So you can tap in at different time, different points in time. So whenever you're guided to do any, any type of healing on yourself, which is what meditation is, um, they're just different levels of what that is. Uh, do it. Okay. So let's see what, what we're doing here. Feeling the dragons popping out right away. The Angels of Abundance Oracle. So three Oracle decks so far, the um, Angels of Abundance, the Moonology, and the Dragon Fae Oracle. Okay, Archangels saying, not leaving us out. <laughs> Of course, they're pretty much, they, I think we use them in every single, every single one. Yeah. Um, okay. What else? Going to tarot. We're going to angel tarot. And we're going to the uh, Light Seers Tarot. Okay, and I think that is all, unless I'm compelled to dig in someplace else coming up. We are going to get right into it with the ones that we did pick. We've got, I'm gonna do Oracle first, and then we're going to do uh, Tarot then we're going to tie it all together for a message about what's been going on, what to expect with these energies of the full moon going into the new month. I'm going to do whole new reads for the Stargate for the 3-3 three, three to 313 Stargate for March. Um, but we're here now. So we're going to get into it. So we have the, uh, the archangels with the, with my amethyst. We have the angels of abundance with my, uh, my orca agate, that's called orca agate um, heart because it looks like, like orca with that gray and that white. This is the uh, angel tarot that I have with my goddess stone. Kind of gets washed out in, the, in that light, but oh, there you go. You can kind of see that it has a sun and a moon on it, these formations right here. Ah, there you go. Isn't that awesome? love this thing. It's also called a fairy stone or a goddess stone. And then I have labradorite over my, um, and to me that looks exactly, and I know it is Jesus, Jesus, um, in the light seers tarot. And then, like I said, I have that beautiful 
beautiful shell and it's like opalescent and stuff. I've had this one of many shells for forever with the moonology. And then I have, this is, um, oh shoot, I'm spacing on what this is called. Um, starts with an A and typically it has a lot more like bright blue in it. Um, but, and I'm just spacing on the name of it. I can't remember if I, if I can, I don't want to take time now to look it up, but it's absolutely amazing. And it has a dragon, like a dragon head shape to it. I have a lot of, um, I have to see it in the right, like <laughs> there. Some people can see it right away. Some people can't. This one's also, this one's also a dragon. Uh, anyway, okay. So where are we beginning? Looks like we're beginning with the Archangel. So let's get into it with the Archangel's first Leo. And I gotta say, I am a Leo ascending. My rising sign is Leo. So, um, and, and that, if that's your rising sign, that means that that's like the uh, the type of energy that you exude, that what other how others see you. I have two fire signs. My sun sign is Sagittarius, and my moon sign is Pisces. So I'm like super super in with because Pisces and the moon on in its own right, and then it being my moon sign. So anyway, Leo. Let's see what our archangels have to say for us. Like I said, I have a feeling this is going to be a really um, powerful message for us, Leo. Um, okay, here we go. All is well, Archangel Jeremiah. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So yeah, sometimes we just have to be in faith, you know, even if things seem not so great. <laughs> even if things seem not so great, um, we have to uh, have faith that whatever is happening, whatever shifts and changes are going on for us right now, or um, with the people around us, possibly that um, another card that all is well, and things are happening um, just as they're as they're meant to divinely. Uh, and then courage, and look at those lions! Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so there is Ariel. This is the card I pulled to name my dove that I rescued that lost his leg. It's like, what do I name this guy? And then this card came out. So, and that was perfectly because he's so courageous, so tough. And it says, have courage, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. And I'm also just hearing here, like, it's just really time to get out of your cave and roar about, you know, just really stand in your divinity and your power. But it's also time to get really humble and be that like, that soft leader that leads by example, not by being loud, but on the inside, it's like, I'm, I'm ready to come into this place where I'm really fit. I feel it's like really fitting into the, to the role of who I am, not the role of people think who I am or, or expectations or, or nothing, nothing, nothing about anybody else. It's about us and just going, yeah, I'm ready to put this, all this gear on and go to work as me, as being me and just doing what feels right and, and, and following guidance and knowing all is well, being strong, standing up for who you are and what you know, what you feel and all that good stuff. Next card, you are safe with Archangel Michael. Oh, Michael. So Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, 
and your home. This is the first card that came out. I did an Archangel Oracle reading um, a few days back, maybe four or five days ago. And this was the first card. Actually, he came out twice, back to back, back to back. Michael came out with you are safe and then remember who you are both very powerful messages. I gotta say, just full disclosure, I'm extremely, extremely close with Archangel, with all the Archangels, work very close with them, um, but especially Archangels, uh, Michael and Gabriel and Metatron and Raphael. Um, Uriel's also here, all of the Archangels are here, but the ones that I am in constant, constant contact with, um, there's ones that work uh, more closely with, with other people, but given what I do, um, I definitely need protection because I am a real deal healer and seer, um, and uh, so, and I, and that, that motivation, that strength, that, I mean, Michael coming in right after Ariel with courage, all is well, you are safe, I'm protecting you, so um, don't worry, he's saying, please, if you, it, right now, there may be some real legit things too, you could be concerned about, but change your station, think about something else, do something else, just, just know, know that things are playing out the way that they need to, let, let minutes and seconds roll by, take deep breaths, <laughs> have faith, feel the love and protection of the guidance from your archangels, from Michael, from Jeremy, from um, Ariel, uh, and, and know that they're all with you. You just need to call upon them. <laughs> you got Michael again with crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So what do you really, what do you need? What do you, what do you need in your world? What do you desire? What is it time for in your life? What do we need to focus on? Okay. What makes you feel good? What kind of energy is good for you, Leo? Where's your sweet spot? What makes your, your inner child get really happy? Okay, I'm hearing another one. And Gabriel, speaking of Gabriel, here we go. We've gotten this card. Um, it's come up a few times. Gabriel with nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Didn't I just get done saying that? Weird. Uh, <laughs> What makes your inner child happy? What makes your inner child uh, squeal with delight and make you want to get excited and share and go and grab your friends and go, look, 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 look what I did, or I've got an idea or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. For me, it's art. Um, and m the messages that have been coming through um, have been a lot about um, focusing on, on that for me, whatever our, our art is, our creative and creational energies. Um, I'm going to pause this for a moment. Okay. Guess I forgot to turn my phone ringer. Sorry about that. Okay. So, so yeah, so nurture yourself, take care of yourself through this full moon. It is going to be intense. Um, I'm also feeling with these, two, these two Michael cards, uh, I told you like, yeah, it's pretty intense with Michael energy. Um, be clear about what you desire, be clear about what you desire. What really makes you feel good now and thinking about the future where, what feels good to do and what do you want to focus on? And then what is going to, what do you need to make that to manifest the support, like whatever it is that you need with that. And, and Michael and Gabriel 
uh, and Ariel and Jeremiel and Uriel and Metatron and Raguel and Raziel and, and Sandalphon. <laughs> I could just go on and on and on. So it's like, if I start naming them, it's just like, I could be here all day. Um, no, just kidding. <laughs> but whoever that, 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 I mean, they all kind of have their own kind of, uh, sections of the store, if you will, you know, um, but they can all cross reference in, in any way, shape or form. Um, there is a, a fine distinction between each of them, them all being archangels. There's, it's just because there's so much to take care of and so many different layers of if we're just talking about Gaia and humanity, forget everything else. Um, you know, different strokes for different folks is what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh goodness. And so there needs to be focus even for even for the um those like the archangels who are basically like there's if you think about mother, father, God being the king and the queen, and then their royal guard that's like right there and carries out, knows exactly the plan and their wishes and everything, those are the archangels. And so working with the archangels is working with mother, father, God is working with that pure divine energy and in the different ways that, that it's needed for us. So, so anyway, uh, awesome cards awesome cards all is well stand up for who you are what you believe in what makes you take and how you're authentic show show yourself that show the world that um tap in with archangel michael for to feel strong and motivated and how to have to have also to have courage to but to feel to just feel safe and secure and to allow us to set worries and concerns aside and focus on the positive and not worry about the negative or 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 things that can happen that are uh bothersome in any way in our lives. Okay, so let's go next year. I'm feeling Moonology. Let's see what we get with Moonology. I'm going to take them and we're going to go. Okay, I'm sure we're going to get back. We're always circle back with our Archangel cards, but there we go. And let's get into it with the Moonology, Leo. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few full moons here. Uh, even though this is this is a Virgo full moon, it's the intensity is very um, fiery, <laughs> very very intense full moon. Um, really calling on the, uh, I think the fire signs to help filter this energy. Let's see what we get. <laughs> First full moon. Full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. This card is a repeater in these uh, in these readings, Leo. It's come up. And so it's not saying that it's saying your dreams have power and they're they're being um, they're being cooked up in the kitchen, if you will by the, the powers, the energies, your own power, your, your guides and guardians, the bigger, greater, grander plan. But, but on your side of things, there needs to be some structure, some, some plan. And, and coming in again, here is Michael with crystal clear intentions to go with that. Your dreams need a practical plan. Next card. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. 
So I let's just let's get some more there. It's feeling like this needs to be an adjustment on how how we see ourselves um how we see ourselves this card wants to come out here's another full moon a win-win outcome is forecast this card keeps coming out too so um this this full moon energy is all about getting us uh getting us closer to being in that step, like coming, it's like, I feel like this merging, like there's the freeway. We've been like, oh, we're almost at that freeway. <laughs> it's like, then it's like this space, you know, comes together. Win-win outcome is forecast. So that really feels like there's, like not a lot, a lot of adjustment, like what it says here, but some tweaking and some, some structure. We'll get more into it. I'm starting to see stuff. We'll get more into it. Nothing is yet set in stone. Very true. That's what I was just thinking. Nothing is yet set in stone, dear Leo, dear fellow Leo. Um, that's what I was, you know, the, this full moon, <clears throat> this full moon is all about what's coming in March. It's literally two days removed from March 1st. Last day of the month is the 28th, the very next day. So we may as have, we may as, I, the way that I'm looking at this full moon, it's like a three day full moon at least. Um, so physically we're going to be a, feel a little maybe all over the place in these, in those few days. <laughs> heads up um and not just leo but like most people because this energy with this full moon but when we have when the fire signs with you know the leo sagittarius aries um and i think why we're we're being asked to like filter through this energy maybe a little bit in a different way um is so we can we can really help with Wow. I'm seeing the lion looking into the mirror and, and kind of going like, this is what people see, but they don't really see me. And part of that is the way the lion looks. And part of that is the way the lion acts. <laughs> And, uh, and it's like, regardless of what may be the outward appearance at first, if it's not a totally in alignment with what we're feeling, then we're just kind of playing a part kind of thing. A time for healing, a time for healing. Yeah. So Yeah, it's definitely time to, like I said, it's like the projection versus what's going on inside are like two different things, or at least they have been. And and I think that's that's a big part here of what of what we're being told. Um, adjustments are required and a time for healing. So it's time to adjust for the future through healing, through the meditations like I talked about, the ones that I'm gonna be doing in the future. Stay on top of them if you can. If you wanna get really deep, look into working with me or somebody else um, more one-on-one. -on -one. I do believe that that healing is a very personal thing and I can, <laughs> truly do miracles, but only if the person is, is right. It's like a bungee cord can't, can't, you know, 
allow you to jump and bounce around and come back up safely if you never jump at all, right? So it's kind of like you have to take you have to take that step to to you know go through the the process kind of thing. So it's like and in the healings that I do, you're very much a participant. You're it's you're completely in it which is so important, but it is time to release some pains. It is time to release some, to just get more in balance with your energy. I think it's safe to say, Leo, that it's been pretty imbalanced, that maybe your output has been more than your input, that you haven't had stability in different uh, in different areas that maybe there's been just fluctuating energies. Um, maybe you felt very, um, uh, negative or physically, just physically didn't feel good, physically not feeling right. And it's kind of been this or that or that or this. And it's like, Oh, I feel better. No, I don't. And then there's something else. And it's kind of been like that. And it's, it's because, like the waters of the density and negative energy that you've carried with you. And especially this last year with the pandemic, I mean, it's been even more intense for, for, uh, for everybody, but especially, whoa, but especially uh, light workers, healers, empaths, anybody who is like on the, the mission of, of being, you know, awoken and, and, and part of the whole, unity fun thing um, that we're working on now trying to awaken and ascend and unite humanity um these last months have been pretty rough um i'm not gonna lie like for all of us in one way or another i mean it's pretty easy to say i mean we had the pandemic so that's been very that's shaken things up, brought fears up to the surface for a lot of people. It's changed a lot of plans that we had. Things are gone that we didn't have before. Just everything is so different. So that alone, but this is like, aside from that, this is, you know, of course that's a catalyst for a lot of things, but aside from that, I feel that, um, with this nothing is set in stone it feels like you know going back to that have a practical plan and have crystal clear intentions is like let's look at the month ahead let's look at what the moon is doing let's look at where the stargate is let's look at what um you know just let's research online what this is what i do every month but this month i'm gonna i'm gonna plan it out differently for myself as far as what i'm how I'm going to be looking forward into the month. And, and I'm really motivated to do that, but, but to, um, and I'll probably do an article about it, a podcast video as well, to kind of guide others through it. I'm feeling that that's something I could do. Um, that would really help kind of plan out this month. So we feel more grounded with our fire energy and the fire energy for us. And with this Virgo new moon and going into, you know, this Pisces, energy is about um, health and healing and um, taking and really thinking about taking care of yourself and taking care of your environment and and nurturing the the baby the the child inside and the ones around you that are in your environment but i really feel that that's about the self we've got a lot of those messages that it's time to really to cut cords to to integrate you know our our different aspects and heal in different ways and so it is a time for adjustment it's, and it's a time to set things up for ourselves so we can um, have things planned out. Win-win is forecast. So we just need to kind of plan things out and we'll be able to use this great Libra energy for getting into balance. So just imagine those scales, just but fire on, on both sides, but they're just equal fire because, you know, Leo is fire and um, we have the support for healing. We have, if the, also with this, nothing is set in stone. It's like, as time goes forward, you'll be feeling more about 
what you need to do to feel good and better. And um, also water, if you can water this, this card here, it just, this card here really um, is speaking to me for this card here when it comes to healing. So these two cards really speaking about taking time, slowing down, going within, going into the water, taking long baths. If you, if you have a natural body of water that's not too cold or if you're in the Southern hemisphere or whatever, go into the ocean, um, but going to the bathtub if you can, or just soak your feet, whatever you can do, Leo, to help your body transmute energy. Water really, really helps. Again, we're in the Pisces season. Pisces is the, the energy is, is, is really saying, I mean, and Gaia is coming through. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if so many of the meditations that are going to be coming forward are going to have a lot to do with water. They usually do anyway to some degree, but it just feels like we really need to be tapping into that energy to soothe the the the, the fire, <laughs> to kind of soothe that fire. But a time for healing. It's like healing and structure healing and structure and and play um through the structure because i think we haven't really done a lot of play i don't feel it's been more like what we need to do what we feel compelled to do what we're guided to do what we're you know all those things but but just because there's not enough time in a day, time move time moves so quickly. Um, so, if we structure things, if we look at the month, if we really take an honest look at, at what we want to complete or accomplish or set up for ourselves or whatever whatever it is, we need to we need to do some planning. Some planning is required. So we can set up healing and stuff like that, healing and, and art and things like this. Successful funding and employment change come out right away. Let's see successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So you, you have this idea for a reason. It needs to be created. Don't look for reasons why it won't work or look for excuses or don't think people are going to be into it or whatever it is, do it because it needs to happen. Just go through the motions. Like for me, I keep seeing my animal oracle that I'm drawing um, and I, I draw it with pencil and then I, I digitally paint the background. And um, this is a project that, that was divinely guided to me. I never used to be an artist, number one. <laughs> so that became um, an unlocked soul code ability that just one day I could, and then, and then that's just gotten better. And something that really feels, fills my soul, makes me feel so, so good. Um, and he is healing and it's just, it's such a big deal for me, art across the board, but that is a project that's not only for me, but it's for the collective and it's really important. And right now it's like, I don't know how I'm going to get that published or made into an actual Oracle deck, but it doesn't matter right now. I just need to do it. I also have another Oracle deck that I'm just going to be using for myself. Maybe someday that'll turn into to something else too. But anyway, that's as an example. It's like, what, what are, what are the projects or the things that you've been guided to do or to create that you're like, that you put off to the side or you've done other things that because timing or whatever that you could go, oh, okay, I'm going to clear the board. I'm going to bring that back into my focus. So I'm going to have a cup, maybe just a couple of things I'm going to focus on this month coming up. 
and use the power and the energy of the full moon to help us sort that out. Call upon Michael, call upon Gabriel, especially to help you sort that out. Gabriel is really good for motivating you for, for anything creative and artistic, for tapping into your inner child um, and really getting in that in that swing of that kind of what do we need to create? Gabriel's big time on creating. And so she's very connected with Gaia and together um, really like to nurture the creative energies and forces in people because truly we were created to create, right? So we're all creational beings and Gaia is utterly infinitely creational and she just wants us to to, do, to for that to come out the, the the more we create the more we're in that that zero point of being connected to our soul purpose um not to say that healing isn't that too because i feel very connected to my soul purpose when i'm doing healings or when i'm giving messages but it's a different that's creating a different energy that's alchemy that's changing the energy and helping people heal and connect and all that stuff but for my own creational, you know, putting out something, creating into the world, something else is very important. So there needs to be that balance. And I was told that long ago, and I have had a hard time maintaining that balance. So I'm just sharing this with you so you can, you know, see a, a kind of side of it, you know, put superimpose that on your own experience and think about the things that you've been, you know, like, oh, that's really cool. And people do like react to it or, or it just feels really good. Could be music, could be, could be painting, could be food. It could be plants and flowers. It's just whatever. It's just so much. It's so many things. Like I think the people are, are create our creators that don't really recognize how they create <laughs> but anyway okay so successful funding for things that we that we need to do that our ideas are meant to to come into that's how we man i mean of all the things that you see everywhere aside from what's you know in nature but this was an idea and 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 that was an idea and that was an idea that was created and brought in, out into the world so anyway and then employment change is next employment change uh i love this card oh my god it's so beautiful with that horse let's see if we can get it there we go with that horse and um all those planets in the background, rainbow light. And she is like, she's sleeping. Looks like she's sleeping. So she's peaceful. I like that. Your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each and every step of the way. So yeah, so like I was just saying, we're, we're being called upon to make adjustments and change what we're being guided to do. Um, so whatever changes we're being asked to or, or pushed to make, like this example, this for example, this whole setup here, that's a change I was pushed to make actually on the 222 portal. So coming into this full moon, I think I got into it with this reading, but we had the Stargate from 2, 2 to 212. We were in Mercury retrograde. We had this great Aquarius stell stellium for most of the month. We had six planets in Aquarius and including the, the moon on the new moon on 211. 11 days later, we have the 222 portal, which was just a couple of days ago. And of course, we have this full moon and we had another, a couple other, I think we have um, tomorrow is a, is a 7777 universal day, super powerful on the 25th. It's like a boom before the boom. Like I said, we're going to be feeling that full moon a couple, like one or two days before, one or two days after, but definitely the three days. And that comes in, I think, but there's Oh, I can't remember exactly what the alignment is, but it works out to be a, a, a really important activation day. 
And as I think and talk about it, I get itchy in my head because my third eye starts to pick up stuff. Um, I'll just itch all the way through this. So um, releasing, again, healing, again, cord cutting. Please check out my cord cutting um, ebook. Read that and, and really do your inventory about cutting cords. It's part of this healing um, it's, it's very important, very, very important for you to, for you to start with cord cutting and these other meditations, um, that, that I mentioned and they will be, I think I'll, I'll put links. I think I've had links in these, in these videos here. So anyway, employment change and successful funding. So again, just whatever ideas that you have, just work on your ideas, know that they'll be supported in many, many different ways. Don't worry about all the details right now. Okay. Um, and that's it for the angels of a bunch. Well, I'm here one more, sorry, one more. I'm just going to open up and pull straight from the inside. Conscious consumer. You have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Uh, pretty straightforward here, Leo. So just think about uh, how, what you're buying, what you're using, your toilet paper, your your paper towels, your, what your food comes in, what you, what you buy to put in your body. Also, I'm hearing that just being conscious about your consumption as a whole, what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're eating, what you're listening to, what you're, what you're, what you're consuming. I'm hearing this is more about than about just what you buy and that you buy things that are ethically, you know, environmentally ethical or, or in, in all the ways that it should be. Um, but it's just about like, what, what are the frequencies that you're consuming? Just think about this last month and, and who you were around, what went down, what, what processes you went through, what kind of, what your diet was like, your appetite, you know, just kind of do a little review of just this past month and think about it and think about how that can improve in the future. Um, did you eat enough salads and vegetables? Did you have um, smoothies? Did you eat too much fast food? Were you eating a lot of meat possibly? When I try to stay away from meat as much, as much as possible as an empath and a light worker because meat carries low frequencies because we're talking about a murdered animal or animals that we're consuming. And I don't care, it doesn't matter how they lived or how ethically they may have been killed they were murdered and energy from just their entire life and just knowing what they are and what they're going to be, which is made for consumption, has a very heavy energy on it. This is why people feel so heavy and tired, have bad dreams when they go to sleep at night after eating meat. So, you know, hate, hate to rain on your parade about that. This is, um, you know, we need to pay attention to the energy that we're putting in our bodies and what that actually is and, and what we're taking energy to make, to give us energy. What is that energy? What is it connected to? What is it even, I mean, I work with people that can be so sensitive to energy that even a banana can make them sick if the energy around it and attached to it is really super negative because they feel they're so in tune with energy, they feel that. So they can't no way have meat anymore. You know, maybe, maybe they could in the past. A lot of us could, <clears throat> could in the past, but not anymore. So anyway, think about just your consumption I'm hearing to help you make adjustments, to help you re release things that maybe, you know, aren't good for you in one way or another. What are you consuming? And if there's any types of addictions, food, drink, substance in some way, think about what that is and, and do an inventory of, of how you haven't been taking maybe the best care of yourself and what you need to do to change that and make, make it, um, 
make it make it a priority to change a few of those things, you know, at least one or two of those big things. And I would never advise anybody to just stop eating meat, uh, but, but to taper, taper it down um, is a good idea. It's a good idea to taper it down, you know, she's not eating as much meat. And we have Gaia's Dragon for our, I love this card, Gaia's Dragon for our messages. It's card number 37, Divine Union. So the portal the other day was the Divine Union portal, the 222. Um, it's also for manifestation. It's for, but divine union in that sense was about union with yourself, union with your soul. And then union, once, you know, more of that happens, the more we're going to unite with those outside of us. Um, so anyway, just, just a little side note there. Oh, 37, not 27. I'm like, that's, that's the problem. Okay. Divine Union, Gaia and her dragon speak. Here are voices, male and female, coiling through and around each other as we speak as one. We are Gaia and her dragon, and we are one being, though separate, just as your divine union will be. Think of the beauty of lovemaking with a partner, the harmony and balance, the yielding and the chase, that, um, that which we represent through our perfect union is the divine marriage, the blissful soulmate experience that so many beings long for. True marriage does not mean becoming the same being. Look at how different, how apparently different we are. So yeah, they're very different, Gaia and her dragon. Uh, I lost my place. Sorry. Oh, there we are. And yet within that is protection and care, fertility and new growth. Heaven and earth join together. Is the sky the same as the earth you walk on? No, but look at their harmonious relationship. In exactly the same way your divine union will not be with one who is the same as you, but will, when brought into divine marriage and perfect balance, provide each other with a home and unity and love. And you will bring out what is best within and without the other. The dragon loves and protects Gaia. Gaia adores her dragon, who is the heaven who is the heavens and will bring forth new life as a result of this union. You are loved and have on this planet and within the celestial realm, a perfect and divine partner beyond history, past lives and future lives lies this uh, divine union. It is and will be yours. Oh my gosh. Oh, that got me like really emotional really feeling it there people really feeling it there um this message has come through a lot lately lately that uh that this is is coming closer and closer and closer the closer we get to and with ourselves and with our guides the closer we get and we bridge that gap to um those who we are meant to unite with um so this this card is specifically talking about a love union a soulmate union a romantic union a union where you create together either a family children or you bring your families together um to create a, a big family and and all that good stuff um but this is also speaking to the um a couple of other things i'm getting allowing love to come in so for those of you who are like that's not for me it's never happened it's always failed or can barely get started I, i've always been more alone or whatever i get it <laughs> um but we need to let that go that was the past that's not we can just decide well then this is just the way that it is and it's always going to be this way and well i guess it could be because you've decided that but that's not the way it's been designed. 
And so you can reject the, the, the destiny, the path in which our soulmates are and twin flames, um, if you have them, and I have an article on Medium about twins and soulmates and twin flames, it will be a another ebook soon. But anyway, um, when we when we incarnate, there's many possibilities for soulmates. There's just one possibility for twin flames and not everybody has a twin flame. Just it's a very high level relationship that is not easy because they're usually triggering, um, very triggering in ways and most people just can't handle that because it makes you feel stuff you don't like. Whereas <laughs> um, with soulmates, it can be much more a sweetheart, loving, feeling just super, super like they get me and we just come together so easily because soulmates have gone really round and round together and uh, they just can really feel into the the stuff that isn't triggering and just to the love stuff. So, uh, <laughs> so there's a really big difference there. So just with that said, a lot of twins are actually not romantic partners, really. Uh, so a lot of people confuse what soulmates are and think they are twin flames when they're really soulmates. And a lot of people are twins when they think, when they maybe don't consider it, it's an interesting dynamic. <laughs> um, so anyway, this we're being told here to to allow us to heal from the past let love in let us um recognize the different soulmates that we've had already in our lives see who we may may need to cut cords with because where there's still some attachment there and it's just taking up space and we need we need this space clear so um but that this is part of the plan. And if this hasn't happened yet for you, which I'm guessing that it hasn't, um, or you thought maybe there was a person, but, but it didn't turn out. I don't think you, I think that you are seeing things through a certain lens, um, but that didn't necessarily mean the thing you thought it meant. And, and, the thing that's like oh it's yet to happen yet to happen so and most likely you don't even know this person that's not even a uh yeah you don't even know this person they're totally new um and it's just it's I feel that the setup for this is, is happening now and is happening soon, the setup, um, but there's still work to be done, but all this adjustment and clearing and healing that we're talking about really needs to take shape. First, to set the stage for the other people that, that are meant to be in our lives, to come in our lives and for us to be able to you know, receive them in a healthy way and not be afraid, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. We have the magician, Leo. And I think we're already at an hour here. See how that happens? I'm pretty sure. Um, five of pentacles after the magician. That is interesting. Let's see what we get next. King of wands in reverse. Three of pentacles straight up the world in reverse, the devil in reverse, the emperor in reverse, and knight of swords in reverse. Wow. Okay. I'm hearing one more here. one more okay one more four of cups also in reverse all righty so leo we're starting off with magician so we're definitely 
um, powerful, definitely um, can manifest, definitely connected to uh, not the right flash. Isn't that so great? There we go. Um, definitely connected to spirit and to the divine. You know the power of uh, meditation. Um, but it's been difficult to get your bearings straight. We have this king of wands. There is that lion Leo. Let me turn him over so you can see. But again, he is in reverse. The world in reverse, the devil in reverse, the emperor in reverse, nine of swords in reverse. So yeah, um, things have been stagnant. Things have been up and down. There's been some real empowered moments and there's been real moments where there's been like, okay, uh, just got to see, maybe, you know, start over here again. We have the world, but it is in reverse. So what I'm feeling with this is, yes, energy is off. Um, those chakras need to be balanced. There is energy that cords that are attached to you, energy that is attached to you, that is... Um, attached to illusions and pain and the past that needs to be released. We have the emperor here um, and right underneath the king of wands. So strong energy coming through again with Archangel Michael saying, um, you know, I'm here, but, but you're still not working with me. You're still not working with me the emperor and the king of wands, both upright, one on top of the other and both in reverse. So he's like, I'm standing here, I'm sitting here, what, you know, but you're still in your head. You're still in your head. Nine, nine of swords, you're still, you're still in your head. You're still dealing with darkness and turmoil that you, quite frankly, it's like, it's almost like you like to play with that, if we're being honest. It's almost like you like to play with, with that, like, walking the tightrope kind of thing, like doing it on your own or what you can pull out of your hat at the last second or something to that effect, like almost defiance, almost like ego, like, and then, but then I feel, cause this is a card that comes out after this card. So we have the nine of swords and we have the four of cups um, directly after that nine of, of swords but you're also still waiting for things to change. <laughs> That's funny because you're the one who's like not fully tapping in. Um, only, it's kind of like only when it's like, um, I'm not feeling good or something's off and it's like, oh, okay, I better tap in. But otherwise it's like, even though you're really powerful. So it's almost like you're just a little complacent with it. Um, but it's getting to this point. It's like at this point now where you're just like, yeah, I'm kind of really over the cycle and I don't want to do this anymore. My hair is driving me nuts today. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, just get out of the So anyway, yeah. So let's just think about that. Let's just think about clearing the blocks, getting out of our own way. I'm seeing Michael all over this. Archangel Michael really wanting to help and saying, would you just please like um, get, get with the program kind of thing here. Let's clarify with some angel, angel cards. Whoa, whoa, there's our first. King of fire. 
again. So we have the King of Wands, King of Fire, same card. Just got done talking about this. So there is again a sign from, if we get another emperor, I'm uh, <laughs> just saying. Ten of air and the world, the world twice, Leo. Ten of air, the end of a difficult situation coming up here. Um, embrace the change, get with the flow that is coming in and let it take you. Look at those awesome unicorns, the world again with Archangel Michael. I'm telling you all over the place here is, is Michael. Um, uh, so, and I forgot he was the world in, in this deck or else it would have picked, I would have picked up on now. I'm not going to forget. Um, with, he is the emperor. He is the emperor card in this, in this, re, in this deck. Um, we have the, so we're getting doubles here, Leo, really, really coming in and they're just the moon card with Haniel coming right into my hands. I'm really feeling that with this devil card. Um, and what I'm saying, what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is it's time we're, oh, we got this directive with the cap with Capricorn. And that was what concerns you, what do you need to release? What are, what are you ready to surrender over to the power of, of your divinity, of your connections to the divine, like Michael, um, and working with those like Gabriel to really release and working with the, um, and Haniel, um, and working with the moon and the power of this moon that's coming up for a change. Remember, nothing set in stone. So we need to use the power of the moon to help us through ritual, through intent, <clears throat> to release what binds us. This devil card says, look, this has been you, this guy there at the bottom, um, kind of trapped and chained up to um, past hurts, illusions, fears, judgment, shame, guilt, whatever it may be. And this um, full moon is a great time to release those energies. So if you haven't yet done the meditation for um, healing fear, guilt, shame, unworthiness, imposter syndrome, all that good stuff, um, please check it out. It's the last meditation that I had put up just a couple days ago. Um, that will help. And then also write out what you surrender. Uh, so just write out your, your say, I surrender, just two words, I surrender, but part of, but then the next part of that is to think about what you surrender. So to write out your concerns and just let it all vent, vent it out, vent it out, write it all out. And you're going to surrender these concerns. Um, I'm going to do it too. We're to do it on the new moon. I'm also going to be doing a, um, a guided meditation for the new moon as well. So that'll probably combine it. I may even do a video before that to just set it up. Next card, eight of water. I desire to move on. Search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Most definitely, most definitely. Really feeling that going with this magician. Really feeling that going with this magician here. And um just ready to let go, ready to get into a new, into a new place for yourself. Um, and one more. Ah! And again, with Archangel Gabriel on top, just floating out with the awakening card with Archangel Gabriel. So um, awakening is the... Uh, uh, I'm spacing right now. Justice, I believe. Yeah. Justice. Um, it took me a second. <laughs> I should know this. 
Yeah. Oh, no, it's not justice. It's what is just, just what not quite? Oh, the hangman. Yes, 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 of course. The hangman. What is my problem? I should have known that. Um, because see, she's upside down. So uh, and it's awakening. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. We're definitely getting this message a couple of times here. Uh, when this card shows, there may be a temporary pause in the action as we reflect on where we wish to go next. Exactly. Where do we wish to go next? What do we really want to do with our time? Just in the next few weeks. Let's not get crazy. Just in the next few weeks, where do we want to go? What are we going to do? Where are we getting? Like I said, planning out, planning out. We need to plan. Um, let's get these cards back in play here. Um, this one to me was, I kept seeing a calendar, looking at the calendar, feeling the Pisces season, feeling into the energies of the moon, looking at what's happening with the rest of the month cosmically and, and feeling into those energies, getting into what nurtures us, what feels good in our body, what we need to create, um, and a whole new level of, where did it go? Of awakening, um, awakening. So we're just having to see things from a different perspective, see ourselves from a different perspective, um, live in faith, tap in with Gabriel and Michael, like I said, um, and, and any of the other divine beings and, and angels, et cetera, et cetera, that you can connect to. Okay, guys, there is your reading for the full moon. I think this was a really long one, um, but that's that's the way it's just going to go around here. It's just going to be what it is um, with length and time and all of that. Whatever needs to come out, comes out. Um, remember Gaia's dragon, divine union is on the way. You just have to think of yourself first. Think of yourself first. And then after that, it's Anybody and everybody that you're meant to connect to is secondary to that. You need to work on you. You need to work on eliminating triggers, eliminating past conditions, um, any narcissistic, narcissistic ego-driven traits really is where it's at and need to be looked at and, and thought about. And, and those usually stem from feeling out of control and being in fear, feeling like things are going to disappear or whatever, needing to prove your worth, um, needing to control, needing to impress upon others a certain way of things or um, uh, having an imbalance of energy that's that that we are putting out, that we're getting back, that we're requiring other people to take from us. Um, that kind of thing. So think about all of that good stuff, plan out your month. And again, I'll be back with another reading for the Stargate. That's going to be really, really telling as well. But for now, just think about planning for the month and soothing yourself going into this full moon. Okay, Leo, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you resonate with this reading down in the description box. And just decide, but lastly, it's just decide to um, uh, just decide to start letting go more little bit by little bit or keeping note of the things that trigger you in a negative way. Um, because it's just density and it's just holding, holding you down. Okay. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day or evening, wherever you're at. We'll see you soon. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the keys to create. I love you already and always live in love. Bye for now, guys.